Today is Thursday, March 28, 2019, Thursday of the third week of Lent. So here's your cat mace update. It doesn't work. The cat was sitting right on the stuff. All right, so as I get ready now to say daily mass, know that you'll be in my prayers this morning. May God bless you and give you his peace. All right, so it looks like it's a nice little day outside. I think I'm gonna take a little walk about outside right now. Oh yeah, nice, bright, crisp day today. Morning, Dave. Good morning, Father. How are you, good. honey? How are you today? Good, thank you. That's good to hear. So as I'm going to try to do on Thursdays, I'd like to do Catholic Web Thursday today. And Catholic Web Thursday is a good time for me to just kind of take a look at some of the Catholic things that I do on the web. Today I'm looking at Catholic News Agency, which I believe is now a service of EWTN. So I want to say it had to be a good 15 years ago or so, I was looking for a reliable Catholic news site. You know, there were a lot of things around. I, we were getting, in the parish where I was, we were getting a regular copy of America magazine. And, you know, they're heterodox on a good day. There was the National Catholic Reporter, which many people refer to as the Catholic Distorter. They're a heterodox site as well that they tend to want to you know, push the edge or be out on that, that, that edge of things. And while there's some value to that, and I do still glance at those things from time to time, I wanted something that was going to give me more of what truly is going on in the Catholic Church on a given day, um, give me more information. And I came across Catholic News Agency. Now, I, I have to admit, I think when I first found them, it was before they were bought out by EWTN. I think they've become even better over the years. Um, the Catholic News Agency, they, they basically give you really good information about what's going on in the Catholic world and the regular world, but they give you good information, most of it being, I want to say, national and international. If you're looking for local news sources, you have to go to your local Catholic news. Like for us, it's the Long Island Catholic. But the Catholic News Agency, if you take a look at what they have on their website, I've made it my homepage on every computer that I have and all around the place. Um, I think that they're related to the National Catholic Register, which is also covered by EWTN. Um, but but here, you know, here you have it, if you look at it, things that the Pope is up to, maybe speeches he's given, summary of different things, um, even some of the things that are going on in our, in our world politically or otherwise. And so if you're looking for a, a very good, reliable Catholic site, I would say Catholic News Agency is, is my go-to, and you could make it yours as well. I find the Catholic News Agency website to be very well organized. At the top, they usually have four articles that are just scrolling, the highlighted articles. But then down below it are all the other articles so that you can see what's going on in the Catholic world. Um, it's pretty good. They also have down at the bottom, if you get all the way down to the bottom, they have different things that if you want to just focus on the Americas, on the Vatican, Asia Pacific, the United States, um, they have different sub areas so that you can get the, the Catholic news for that particular region. You will also find on Catholic News Agency, they have different tabs up at the top of the web page. And on those, they have certain blogs or they have uh, featured articles. Um, they have certain authors who will write for them on a regular basis. One of the ones that I get a real kick out of is it's entitled Mama Needs Coffee. So when just taking a look at her page, this is a woman named Jenny who writes about sex life, marriage, culture, Catholic Church. She claims to be a revert to Catholicism, but does write some very interesting little pieces. Um, and I highly recommend her page to you. They also have their regular blog, and on that regular blog, you're going to see all sorts of different things. Um, again, well worthwhile uh, for you to check it out if you're just looking for to catch some information. Now, of course, for the record, I am not going to say that this review is meant to be exhaustive. None of my uh, Catholic Web Thursday reviews are going to be exhaustive. I'm not going to touch every corner of every web page. I'm just going to point out a couple of the ones that I've either found very helpful or that I've found not so helpful. It's up to you to decide if it's for you or not.